Okay, the first thing I want to ask you is there, is there any scientists in the room here today? Uh, hands up, any scientists? Okay, I'm on my own. Okay, so I have a problem for you. I have a glass of water and I'm after putting some ice into it. Okay, so I'm going to let the, glass, the ice melt in the glass of water. Right, what I want to ask you is when the ice melts, will the water line rise, will it fall, or will it stay the same? Okay, so when the, the ice melts, will it rise, will it fall, or will it stay the same? So hands up, who thinks it's going to rise? Okay, one, two, but six people. How many people think it's going to fall? Two people. <laughs> and how many people think it will stay the same? Okay, one, two, three, four, about six people. Okay, so have any of you asked this um, question before? No? Have you any ever asked this question before? Why haven't you asked this question before? Okay, we should question, we should absolutely question everything about the world. Okay, this is what science is, and this is what school science should be. We should make sure that children are not afraid to ask questions, and they're that they should be not afraid to ask the question, why? That's very, very important. Okay, so, most important thing is, am I going to tell you the answer? No, I am definitely not going to tell you the answer. You have to go home tonight, okay? And I want you to do that experiment, and I want you to tell me the answer tomorrow. Okay, very, very important. Right, um, so I want you to tell me the answer. Okay, so remember back to your school science experience. Okay, we had, we had at the start of a, uh, a topic, we had to read a definition. And usually what I did was, I used to get my highlighter, my pink highlighter, and I'd highlight it, and I'd go home the next, um, that evening, and I'd learn off the definition. And I'd come into the school the next morning, and I'd reel off the definition back to the teacher. Okay, just in case I forget it. Okay, so for example, I would say, the center of gravity of an object is the point through which the weight of the object appears to act. What? What does that mean? Okay, so then we'd learn off the definition, we'd then read a few paragraphs about um, the topic, and then we used to go away and do an investigation. Okay, so we'd learn all the theory about the topic before we'd ever experience the concept. This is not scientific inquiry, okay? Usually when we did an investigation, we usually knew the answers before we even did the investigation, okay? Like, for example, remember the test for starch? And we got iodine and we put it on the, um, the bread and on the potato. We all knew it was going to go blue-black. It wasn't a major eureka moment when it went blue-black blue -black for us. Okay? That is the most important thing, and that is not scientific inquiry. The most important thing is everyone knows here in this room, the best way to learn is through our mistakes. So why in science are we always focused on the right answer, getting the right answer? Okay, I remember back to my school science days and we were in a group and we were doing investigations and there was complete and utter devastation when we didn't get the exact results in our titrations in chemistry or we didn't, we couldn't get the exact results for a perfect curve in our enzyme experiments in biology. Okay, okay, you might be thinking to yourself, may have seriously needs to get out more, but <laughs> that's the way it was. We always had to be focused on getting the right answer. Okay? Mo very, very importantly, we, m we must, and children must, step out of certainty into uncertainty in science. Okay, that's very, very important. Um, then, um, step out of certainty into uncertainty. Children, adults and humans, we're all so different. So we've all different people in the room here today. So we're all different, but we've all different ideas about the world around us. For example, we all had different ideas just about the water and the ice in there, okay? But the most important thing to add today is I did not say no. Like I didn't say, Alana, no, for God's sake, why would it rise, okay? I didn't say no to you, okay? I, but I got you thinking. I got you thinking about the topic. So tonight, you're going to go home, and in your kitchens, at home, you're going to have this eureka moment when you do the investigation, okay? <laughs> very, very important, hopefully. Okay, so, science, we're talking about science. So what about scientists? So, what does a scientist do all day long? Experiment. Experiment, experiment. So, scientists experiments all day long. Another very important thing that scientists do all day long is they observe. They stand back and they observe for hours and hours and hours, okay? 
So observation, identification, and making descriptions are three key scientific um, process skills. Okay, you're observing me here, okay? And you're thinking to yourself, Maeve is completely and utterly useless at um, using the yo-yo. Okay, you've concluded that by watching me. Okay, so ye are actually acting like scientists, just sitting down there. You're probably thinking, oh, if she only should do it that way, we'll come back up, or she'd get, get a good rhythm into it. So ye are acting like scientists, even though you don't know it, even at the moment. Right, let's think about how else did you act like scientists today? Um, oh, okay. For example, you woke up this morning, okay, and you opened up the windows, and you looked outside, and it was a dull, dark morning, okay? So you thought to yourself, I better wrap up on this cold December morning because you presumed it was cold. Okay, so we're all here sitting inside in the room, okay, on this rather unusually mild December morning. And you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, I'm going to pass out. Why did I wear this jumper? Why did I wear these woolly tights? Okay, so probably you might even have decided already today, or maybe later on, that you're going to change your methodology um, tomorrow morning. You're going to open up the window, you might open up the front door, and you might feel how hot or cold it is. And then you might decide, okay, what you're going to wear based on further evidence. So we act like scientists all day long, okay? Even though you don't think you're a scientist, you do act like a scientist all day and long, very, very importantly. So this brings me on very nicely to my next point. What instruments do scientists use all day long, okay? Anytime I ask people, what instruments do the scientists use all day long? They say the microscope, um, test tubes, bunts and burners, and they reel off everything they can f um, picture it in a science lab. Okay, the most important instrument a scientist uses is his or her own body. We use our senses. Okay, so I was saying scientists observe. Okay, they touch things, they feel things, they smell things, they listen. Okay, so we must allow ourselves and allow children time to stop, to observe the world around us, to stop and to listen, listen to the world around us, okay, to feel things, to touch things, to make description about things and learn more about the world around us. Okay? And what actually then is, I'm talking about science all the time, but I never actually said what actually science is. What actually is science? Okay? Science is learning about the world around us. Okay, a lot of people think of science as the product, like the knowledge and the content and m the material goods that are derived from the knowledge, like iPods, laptops, iPhones, okay? But science, more importantly, is a process. It's the process of knowledge getting. It's the process of how we learn about the world. It's more the how than the what. So how do we gather the knowledge rather than the knowledge itself? Okay, so how do we question the world? How do we investigate every day? How do we just learn more about the world? Science is a way of thinking. Science is a way of being. Okay, so everyone thinks scientifically. Absolutely everyone thinks scientifically. There is a scientist in all of us. We just have to give ourselves and children the opportunities to just build and foster your curiosity about the world around us. Now, hands up, how many scientists do I have in the room today? <laughs> Yay, everyone, there is a scientist in all of us. Thank you.